my fellow citizens of the seventh universe. My name is Bat Player 2 if you wish to be a civic, and welcome to a little bit of an update video letting you guys know what's going on with me, with future updates, all that mumbo jumbo and everything. Today's video is something that I'm really, really excited to show you guys. I've already sort of teased it in um, a little bit ago about what I was planning on doing. And that was regarding around role plays. Now, the role plays have been kind of dispersed on this channel, unfortunately. We haven't done that many role plays recently, mostly because of the fact that, like, I, we were doing so many role plays at one time, I actually got role played out, and I didn't really know what else to do with role plays. So I took a little break for over a quarter of the year. Yeah, took a long break. <laughs> um, but. Today, I wanted to announce a new roleplay, if you guys don't know, if you guys haven't heard about it, a new roleplay that I plan on doing. Now, this roleplay is still kind of in, like, the works, so it's going to take, like, a few weeks, like, a couple of weeks for it to officially come out. That's what I want to do. I want this to come out at least during April. I, I want it to start coming out at least during April. Um, if not, I mean, beginning of May would probably work out, too, but I want it out as soon as possible. Because I want it, I want you guys to have your role plays again. Because I know you guys miss the role plays. I miss doing the role plays, and I re that's how this channel first became what the channel is today. The channel used to strive on role plays. Yeah, like when I first started my Dragon Block C series, at first off, it was just a silly Let's Play series that somehow evolved into a giant role play type series and i've been continually doing role plays like we're around dragon block naruto fairy tale and that sort of stuff so i wanted to announce a new dragon block c role play that i plan on doing in the future this series is going to be called dragon block exorcist yes um for people who don't know the series is going to be based off of, well, obviously, Dragon Ball Dragon Ball Z, obviously, Dragon Ball Super. It's going to have everything from all the sagas and stuff. But as well, if any of you have ever seen the anime or heard the anime Twin Star Exorcist in the past, I wanted to combine the two because both of them can really, really, like, do some crazy stuff combining the two animes. Now... It, it does seem a little bit difficult because, I mean, the animes are completely different from each other. I mean, in Dragon Ball, everything that's happening is happening in their world. Like, if uh, some person invades the world, it's from another planet or from another universe or whatever. Um, but in Exorcist, everything is coming from a hellish-type world that's trying to break into the to the, our world and trying to basically mess everything up now what i plan on doing something like that is that those hellish demons are the bad guys that are from dragon ball z now they can be anything they could start off from like being little tiny cybermen walking around trying to get into our world then it could evolve into actual saiyans or freezer race type characters or cozyans or maybe there could be like a cell or eventually there we can face the god that lives over there, the god of destruction himself might live over there. Or the god of destruction could be living in our world, but trying to help out, trying to... Um, he realizes that there is too much chaos in the world and is trying to stop the chaos because that's his job. And he feels left out that he's not doing all the chaos. I know it's a little bit weird. It, things are coming to my head as I'm talking to you guys right now, but... Hello, cows. How are you doing down there? They're just hopping on trees. That's weird. But, yeah, so I'm I'm kind of wondering how I'm going to be able to do something like this. Obviously, it's going to be completely different than what I usually do. Completely different than the role plays I do. Because they're everything that, like, we sort of know. And now that I'm starting to combine the animes, it's going to be a very, very different type of role play. Like, a role play that... A Dragon Ball role play... That has not been on YouTube ever before or if anybody have ever seen because it's gonna be weird now to introduce my character huh his name is most likely gonna be Patrick because obviously that is kind of the theme that is kind of the theme that uh, that uh, my role plays usually take is that the main character is kind of my name I always choose like Pat because it's like the easiest name to do 
Um, he's going to start off as weak as possible, not knowing anything about Exorcist. Oh, I haven't even explained Exorcist, which Exorcists are going to be the people that are going to try to stop uh, these hellish figures that are trying to get into our world. And my character doesn't know anything about them, and then realizes that, like, when he's come face to face with them... Wait, what does Goku do? Oh. Carry on. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, so, obviously, Goku has not, I mean, well, Goku's right there. My character has not seen anything, and then when he comes to face-to-face -face with some of the beings, he realizes that the world is not as clean and safe as he thought he was, but he wants to try to make the world like that as much as he can. So he try, So he becomes an exorcist and tries to stop the bad guys from the other world. Now, a lot of stuff can come to this, like, my, dude, my, fr my guy can only be a human. Because only humans roam the world. All like the Saiyans are kind of in the other world. But how are humans supposed to stop Saiyans? Now that's a thing that we're going to have to find out in in the future episodes. Now, I'm going off saying like all this stuff. I don't want to give away too much of the... Of the um, I want to give too much away of the show because then it's like, Oh, Pat, you kind of just gave away your whole entire plot. What, what the heck <laughs> now i'm not gonna watch your real play because i know what's gonna happen um but this comes to uh another question for you guys because usually when i start to do all these role plays i usually always ask help at first i always ask help as to what you guys think the role play should be now um usually i always ask about the name and everything i kind of already have the name um now, if you know how to make logos and want to make a logo for the name of the series, you're more than welcome to do it. And you can send it to me on Twitter or something. But anyways, um, I always ask questions as to what you guys think should be in the series. Like, what characters should be in the series? They're going to be original characters, so what are some names to give some original characters? Um, who teaches everybody how to be exorcists? Who are the exorcists? Like, who's out there? Who are the bad guys? What's the plot? How is how is my guy going to be able to survive the entourage that is these hellish monsters? And also, what would we call them? Because obviously, they, we can't just call them like demons because none of them are demons. They're Saiyans and like Arcosians and stuff. I mean, to the humans, they could be basically demons, but to them, they could be something else. Now, trying to get into our world, what is their motive? Why are they doing this? Are they deciding that they're doing it just because they like pain and suffering? Or is it because they're trapped in their world and they're trying to get out to live normal lives? What about that? Does that sound interesting? I know you guys always come up with the best ideas. And I actually kind of like having a younger type audience that you guys have. Because your guys' imaginations are absolutely crazy. And the ideas that you guys come up with are just mind-boggling like i wouldn't even think about that i'm just like dang you guys are great like all of my dragon all my um dragon box uh role plays naruto role plays that came off of you guys i mean obviously i put my own spin on things especially the naruto with the whole um you're basically a test subject type thing and you're using like you're just like like orochimaru's like puppet the whole time basically but you guys come up with a bunch of great ideas, and I love it. I love it so much, and I want I want to basically use your ideas once again. So please, let me know down in the comments below what you think should be in this series. Also, make sure to follow me on Twitter, because you can actually express your ideas to me directly to Twitter. I mean, like, comments, a lot of comments, especially on these types of videos, they do get flooded. So if you want to write to me they want me to see it maybe twitter is the best out output to do it um so yeah it's good i'm really excited to start another role play it's been too long and i really want to get into it because my ideas for this series have been like have been all over the place like i've been thinking about it like non-stop recently like what i should do for this series because usually Usually I think about it, it's kind of weird when I go work out, because my mind is kind of like blank and I just think when I'm like running and stuff, and I'm thinking like, oh, what should I do for the roleplay? What should this be? Like, 
and exorcist like dragon block exorcist came up in my brain one day and i was like that is a good idea <laughs> so let me know down in the comments below what do you think should be in this series or write to me on twitter because twitter is a very very good out outlook to um send me uh, send me tweets and stuff because right now my twitter is kind of bland because uh i got hacked uh, a couple months ago and it hasn't let my followers haven't recovered at all so right now if you want to get your ideas out make sure to follow me on twitter and be able to tweet me because it's going to be you're going to get like a better answer um because i'll probably write back to that as well because i on youtube there's going to be a lot of comments but anyways let me know down in the comments below and on twitter what you think should be in this series your original characters your original concepts how my character is able to get strong how are the bad guys able to get strong what is their motives everything i need to know your outputs it's gonna be freaking awesome though but i think on that note before i start rambling because uh, i know that i've been rambling for like 11 minutes now this video was only meant to be like six minutes but all of a sudden it's like double that but i think on that note everybody i'm gonna end this video here so i don't want to say thank you guys for joining me once again and i got i hope you guys are excited because a new role play is about to begin and i'm so super excited to bring it to you guys in the coming weeks so on that note everybody i am going to say thank you guys for joining me once again and i will be seeing you later